Hey guys, it's Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Uh, welcome back for part two of the Supernova Extreme uh, project. Um, basically, in this video, we're going to get into looking at the power system that I've chosen for this airplane, and then we'll uh, do some run-up tests and see what type of numbers it's putting out. So let's get started and see how it all goes. Okay, guys, let's start off by taking a look at the electronics that I'm going to put into the Supernova Jet Extreme. Um, basically, um, after doing some calculations online with the static thrust calculators and also comparing the amps that the motor and ESC are listed at, I decided I was going to go with the lower KV motor, but with a bigger prop at a higher pitch. Um, so that uh, dictated kind of what uh, parts I was going to use. So let's take a look at it. Um, first off, I'm going to be using a 5S LiPo pack. Um, it's rated at 4,000 milliamps, and it's a Turnigy Nanotech. It's a 45 slash 90 C rated. So that's going to be the uh, main battery for the uh, plane. And then I'm going to be using the ESC. It's a Turnigy 150 amp ESC. So that should be uh, well to cover up to what this motor is rated at. The motor is rated at 110 amps. Uh, we might go a little above that depending on the prop setup we use. Um, the motor, I'm going to be using the Turnigy T600 motor. This is a helicopter motor. Um, it's the 1100 kV motor. So this is a little bit lower than the 1400 kV one that I had. Uh, but it should be able to spin the bigger prop at the higher pitch uh, more efficiently. So we'll do a test of that here coming up in a little bit. And for the servos, I chose these uh, flat wing servos that Turnigy makes, the 555 MG series. They're nice and uh, kind of thin. And they'll fit within the uh, rear of the main wing here. Um, I'll just embed them inside. So I got two of those. These are pretty neat. They do have aluminum um, servo arms that are included with it. So those should be nice and strong, and they do provide uh, plenty of torque for uh, what this plane is going to be handling. Okay, also guys, here's another bit of the electronics. Um, as I did mention earlier, I'm going to be using a separate BEC. Since the Turnigy 150 amp ESC does not have a built-in BEC. Um, this is a Turnigy BEC. It's a SBEC rated up to 40 volts. Um, it puts out, let's see, the output voltage is 5 or 6 volts and up to 5 amps. Here's a quick comparison of the props um, from the old Supernova, a 7x8 APC sport prop versus the new prop. As you can see, it's much bigger and it's higher pitch. This is the 9 by 10 prop that I'm planning to run on the Supernova Extreme. Okay guys, um, if that initial setup doesn't work, I do have a bunch of props that I did purchase from online. And uh, a lot of you guys were having questions where I get these sport props from. So a lot of the uh, hobby shops don't carry them, um, at least the full line of APC props. So you can go online. They do have a website. I'll put a link in the video notes. For any guys that can't find the props, you can go here and you can purchase any of the uh, props that uh, APC makes. These again are really not electric props. They're made more for gas motors, but with this big of an engine, it fits right on. And they're a little thick and they're nice and strong, the sport props. Okay guys, we're getting ready for the initial test of this uh, motor and prop setup. Again, I'm running a 5S LiPo pack with the APC 9x10 Sport Prop. Um, to test this motor, I got it hooked up to a uh, receiver so I can actually step outside the room um, just because it's going to be so loud and that way also I'm most protected if anything does happen with the prop. Um, on the right side, I have a separate amp meter. This is uh, rated up to 200 amps and uh, so we can check out the maximum amps at full throttle. And then I'll uh, actually do a second test because I got to switch it over to check the volts at a maximum uh, thrust too. So we can use those numbers after I get it tested to calculate what type of thrust and uh, prop speed we're getting and uh, see if we can verify the numbers that I'm hoping to get for the motor. So uh, let me step outside the room. We'll do the run-up test and see what the uh, numbers are. Okay guys, now we're going to check the uh, volts, uh, hit the button, switches over to volts, so we can test what the uh, voltage drop is, so we can use that to estimate um, RPMs.
Okay guys, uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going to hook up a 6S LiPo pack to this motor and prop setup. It's probably going to be too much for uh, the motor and prop, but I just was curious and I want to see what it uh, runs like. I'm sure this would give uh, definitely uh, higher prop speeds, but I'm thinking the amps are probably going to be too high for actually even this battery and probably the motor. But let's run it up and see what happens. Okay, that was some pretty crazy amps. Um, let's switch it over to volts. We'll check the maximum volts that it uh, drops down to. And uh, so we can use that to calculate prop speed and uh, what type of thrust we're getting. Okay, guys, after running the 6S, the motor feels like it is a little bit warm. So that's probably a little too much for it. Um, we'll try it initially probably when I'm flying on the 5S. If it doesn't get the numbers I want, I may put the 6S in and just go for it. Um, but those are the initial tests. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, static thrust meter and see what type of numbers we got. part two of this uh, video series so please stay tuned we're going to be doing some more uh, building on the actual plane in the coming weeks and hopefully out to test flight at Herman Airport um, once it's all done so thanks again for joining me see you guys soon